Hi, you guys, and thanks for tuning in. There was a question asked, how do we get drunk in prison, and where did the alcohol come from? Okay, so, me, I didn't drink anything, okay? I was not trying to get drunk. It was not that serious. But there are real alcoholics. And can you imagine you're alcoholic and you come from the street, you, you want your alcohol. You have to have your alcohol. And so we're not allowed to have anything that had alcohol in it. For instance, we weren't allowed to have perfumes. We weren't allowed to have alcohol, rubbing alcohol. We weren't allowed to have, oh, the hairsprays. We weren't allowed to have those. We weren't allowed to have... fingernail polish just imagine anything everything anything that has alcohol in it in prison we're allowed to have everything but okay those things are excluded you guys see my earrings they're so pretty okay so if you're alcoholic if you're used to drinking you want your drink you want to get your drink on then there's always a way so, they make their alcohol. They make alcohol. And I really don't know exactly how they make it. All I know is they use potatoes. And they use apple juice. And they use bread. I don't know if they're using a combination of all of them or just two of them or whatever. I think the potatoes might make uh, apple juice by themselves. Or maybe the potatoes in the bread or the apple juice in the bread but there will be days where most of the days it was on on Fridays um, can I have the apple juice they're going around collecting apple juice from everybody in the kitchen but they're trying to do it like undercover because for any reason if it get out like oh somebody collected apple juice oh we know what's going down with that apple juice and this I'm talking about with the uh, authorities oh we know what's getting ready to go down it's Friday then there would there will be a raid so they try to keep it you know on the low low and collect all these apple juices and I don't know what they do you guys I really don't but that's how they make their alcohol I've seen it they take these big old buckets what are those gallons Big old white container, gallons container, um, several things can come in these big old white containers, like washing powder, pickles, you know, big gallons, industrial gallons. So I would see it in those gallons, and they would make them make this in their room, and the gallon would be full, and it would be on full. <laughs> the weekend they will put it under the bed they will hide it and it's really strong a lot of the times I will see it in the laundry room because each housing unit had a laundry room and so in the laundry room they kept this big old um, laundry container and anything that you didn't want you could always go in the laundry room to throw it in the container so they would hide the, um, the alcohol in that big old container just in case there was a raid and a lot of the times the word got out to the authorities the officers that um, there was being apple juice collected or um, they smell something in a particular unit and then there will be a raid so you're minding your own business everybody next thing you know here come 20 they're cops. They're um, they're a special unit. They call something like a, I don't know, ice unit. I don't know something. And here they come, and you did not want them to come because of what, regardless of what you're doing, if you're in the shower, you're coming out the shower, you sleep, you you they waking you up, they're tearing up your room, they tear your room up. So they go through the whole unit, a whole 200 rooms, and just tear up everybody room looking for this alcohol and if they find this alcohol you're going down you get in trouble a lot of the times the officers don't care they don't want to be bothered they don't get involved if you're making alcohol that's on you they don't care 
but then you might have this this one obviously that does care that's a, a, a hole and oh he better not find out nobody's making no alcohol or it's going down he calls them the ice unit or whatever and the whole unit is being raided now also they will get drunk by drinking or sucking alcohol pads now we're not allowed to have alcohol pads but you can find the alcohol pads in the doctor's office and there's always a way to get whatever you want however it happens if it comes from the guards the officers or if it comes from somebody working in the medical office to clean in the area or whatever you gonna always find a way to get some medical um some alcohol pads and in forestry forestry is where we train for fire camp we can get anything we want especially alcohol pad because we get injuries out there working hard you know hiking or whatever so we're always allowed to get alcohol pads that's another way the alcohol pads get um, distributed throughout the prison. They suck on the alcohol pads. Yeah, they that's they suck on alcohol pads. I wouldn't do it. You can catch me do it, but they do it. That's what they do. And I can remember going into one room and the girl said, you know, because you go into a room, they always you know break down the rules and laws and the regulations what's going to go down in that particular room so she says um i do um get drunk on the weekend i i i'm like you get drunk on the weekends and she said yeah i drink i suck on my alcohol pads so i'm just letting you know so i said okay you know all right that's what you do um if I'm in the room, I'm not going to allow anybody to make alcohol in the room that I'm in. No, you got to take that somewhere else. I'm not getting caught up in that because if they come and raid the room, then this person is not going to say, hey, that's not mine because it has happened before. Nobody want to say, oh, that's mine. So we're both going down and I can't say, uh-uh, uh-uh, that's not mine, that's mine. Because you, then you're being a snitch if you say, oh, that's not mine, that's hers. So, but I'm lying. Nope, no, no, don't even ask. It's not going down. Ain't no alcohol being hid under the bed in this room. It's not going down. So, yes, that's how the women get drunk. That's where they get the alcohol from. Yes. And... Damn, I was going to say something else. Oh, everybody's drunk. <laughs> everybody's drunk on the weekend. It is sad. It is sad because, you know, I'm a people watcher. And I just be sitting there and I'm like, wow, look at her. And not just high. I mean, not just drunk, but high too. Anyway, thank you so much for that question. That was an excellent question. Um, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask me, and I'll be more than happy to come on and do a video. Okay, to all my new subscribers, thank you, and God bless you. To all my old subscribers, thank you for supporting my channel. Until the next video, peace.